Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 480 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, Bitcoin has kept its $18,000 support over the weekend. Hive has entered an MOU to acquire a 50 megawatt data center campus. Gazprom Bank Switzerland has launched crypto services, and PayPal's CEO was interviewed about Bitcoin on CNBC's Squawk Box. But just before we dive into today's show, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And while you're at it, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, as well as the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, Both of those will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. So Bitcoin has made it through the weekend with support at or above $18,000 US relatively intact. It did, however, briefly dip down to a trading price of about $17,750 on Sunday, but has since recovered and is trading for roughly $18,475 at the time of recording, that is, according to data from CoinMarketCap. But Bitcoin is not alone in this recent rally. Many so-called altcoins, such as Ethereum and XRP, are seeing considerable upward movement, with both both of those posting double-digit percentage gains in the past 24 hours. Also derived from CoinMarketCap's data, Ethereum is up about 11%, and XRP is up 22.5% over yesterday, at the time of recording. Hive Blockchain Technologies Limited, which trades on the TSXV under the ticker symbol HIVE or Hive, has entered into a non-binding exclusive memorandum of understanding with GPU.1 Holdings Inc. to purchase GPU Atlantic Inc., which is a new state-of-the-art 50 megawatt data center campus located in New Brunswick, Canada. Frank Holmes, the interim executive chairman at Hive, commented, quote, We are excited about this opportunity for Hive to expand our Canadian footprint through the acquisition of this data center campus, which has access to 50 megawatts of low-cost green power in Grand Falls, New Brunswick. Further, and important to building our vision, is the GPU.1 team of young, skilled, and proven data center professionals with deep, high-density data center build-out and maintenance experience who will take on executive positions within Hive's organization. End quote. Gazprom Bank Switzerland, a subsidiary of Russian banking giant Gazprom Bank, has announced the launch of a fully regulated cryptocurrency investment and account management solution for its clients, done in collaboration with banking software firm Avalok and crypto company Medico. Gazprom Bank CEO Roman Abdulin said, quote, We are delighted to announce the successful launch of our bespoke cryptocurrency offering. Our solution allows us to make transactions with cryptocurrencies as easy as transactions with traditional assets. Digital assets will become increasingly important for our clients and the global economy. We are pleased to work together with leading Swiss-based entities on the further development of the Swiss and global crypto and blockchain ecosystem. End quote. Dan Schulman, the CEO of PayPal, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol PYPL, did an interview with CNBC's Squawk Box, in which he explained the company's plans for Bitcoin and crypto adoption. Quote, One of the things that we allowed is not just making it easy to buy, sell, and hold cryptocurrencies, but very importantly, early next year, we're going to allow cryptocurrencies to be a funding source for any transaction happening on all 28 million of our merchants. And that will significantly bolster the utility of cryptocurrencies. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, 
iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music.